Oh Here no! We again. Well, time to start the game over. <laughs> Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Alright, if I remember correctly, this one is... No, wait, no, that's a secret area. I was about to say that one was permanent, but no, there's another area later on where I get a uh, permanent uh, super breath power-up. Well, I say permanent, but like only permanent in this level. All right, so we need the supercharge to get to the next area. It's going to be very annoying because I got to do an entire lap of the fucking thing. It's just one really big supercharge route. Go out this door. Damn it, I took a left too early. God damn it, I... That's the door frame. The door frame that like gets me every time. Don't fall in the water. Right. Grab that. Jump. Hey, made it. There we go. In time for dragon number 69. Kapana. Now this annoying section. Alright, so now I have to get up here fast enough to get past all of these statues that are coming to life. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, there we go. Screw you. I have the treasure room and the permanent super flame power up. Ah, he fucking anti aired me. Asshole. God, that fucking squawk. That stock squawk I hear in so many different games. I think the last time I heard it was in uh, Muppet Monster Adventure. Which I think that was the reason why like Demo started talking about the Muppets the first year, uh, the first time around, and how like the Muppets uh, ended up just being like a yearly fucking talking point for these uh, goddamn birthday streams. Ooh, da, da. Right, this guy creeps me the fuck out every time I see him. Also, we no longer have 69 dragons. Damn. I think altogether the game has 80 dragons, so we're really close to the end. Actually, speaking of which, yeah, 80%. And every time I free one of those fairies from their, uh, uh, from their little prisons, like, I keep thinking I get a free level. Because, like, it's the... Uh, free level. Uh, free, uh, brain. What am I doing? What am I trying to say? Free laugh. Because it's the, uh, same sound effect. And my brain really did just stop there, didn't it? Alright, I'm missing a fiver. Ah, oh, it fell in the water. No wonder. I thought something fell. I'm gonna have to get her. Yeah, there we go. That's a tad annoying, but hey, at least I got it. But yes, like I mentioned uh, before, for some reason, that just killed me. Asshole. Yeah, but for some reason, uh, Stuart Copeland likes the track uh, that he made for Shock so much that he put it on his uh, uh, Greatest Hits album. Like, it's a good song, but like, really? Because <laughs> like, it's, it's Greatest Hits like in general, like Greatest Hits of like everything he's made. Like maybe he just put it there for like, uh, representation of the work he's done in video games? Maybe? Just happens to be his, like, favorite track of the, uh, Spyro franchise? Alright, can I do this in one go? There we go. Hey! Have Apparently, I never got that achievement. All these years, I, like, screwed it up every time. Oh, come on! I knew that slight adjustment would, uh, cause me to fall in the lava. I knew it. Ah. Uh, well. That's a tad annoying. So I believe there was a... Uh, like the previous one, there was a skill point for going through this without getting hit, which is super easy to do. Yet, of course, I somehow screw it up. Okay, now I think we should be good now. Unless I don't screw this up, like, fantastically. 
like that. Alright, time for the final world. We're nearly done, chat. We're nearly done. Alright, so Nasty's world is literally just this. But it's like the only world that I have to do backtracking technically. Because the rest of the gems are in the mouths that hold the levels. I love how like Delbert, this artist, came and like tried to fight uh Nasty Nork by himself. Each of Nasty's lands. Don't know then what he thought he was going to do. So yeah, gem total's gonna look kinda weird for a while, Chet. It's gonna bug the crap out of me. Wait, 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 I gotta go back. Okay, yeah, I did grab the gem that was there. I remember last year I lost a huge chunk of time trying to find a gem I lost in this level and was right there. Hey, it's Latif again. But yeah, I think at this point, Spyro. like, all the dragons that we, uh, collect are really dragons that we saved you. before. They just came here to see if they could, uh, fight Nasty Nork, and it didn't work. You gotta believe! <laughs> Rapper the Rapper reference. Oh, okay, cool. I got a hit because it... physics freaked out. Okay, now the physics is breaking out in all of those. Weird. Hey chat, look, Splatoon, this really is a Switch game. But yeah, for some reason, like, I, I'm thinking it's, you know, just the times. Uh, the, the, uh, they actually changed, uh, things around with these, uh, these characters here. Because originally, they had actual guns. Hey, it's Cletus again, Slack Jord Yokel. It's kind of annoying to get to because of the turns and swerves you gotta do. Uh, there we go. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'll take the extra life from that rat. Alright, nearly at the end of this level. Don't screw it up, because I somehow screw it up every time. And then I start rushing and then just start losing lives for no reason. It's this jump here, specifically. Uh, there we go. Hey, clean. And we're done with Nasty's World. Time for the final boss, Chet. Time to take on Nasty Nork. And this is going to be very anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Starting off strong. Oh, well, he hit me. That's something that, like, a lot of the bosses couldn't do. But yeah, we gotta chase these dudes for keys. So we can actually gain access to Nasty Nork first. Alright, I was mashing the flame button and it didn't come out. Cool. Alright, so the key opens up this door. Hey, look, another one. Time to chase Nasty Nork around. Well, first I'm gonna grab everything, then we're actually going to chase him properly. Alright, I believe that's everything outside of... Yeah, okay. Outside of the gems that Nasty Nork gets me when I beat him. Get back here, you green son of a bitch! Alright, now I gotta be quick. So I gotta chase him through platforms that move. Uh, just gives you the slightest bit of leeway. Hey, there we go. You're beating the game that's 100% done. That doesn't mean we're finished. Not yet, Chad. Not yet. We still have the little bit left. We have our lost dragon. Come back when you have reached 100%. Well, saving you just did that. All right. We have 100% of the game, but what if I told you we can get 120%? So Nasty's loot is essentially just a victory lap. It's actually a, like a really cool open-ended level that lets you like freely fly around. But like you have a hard cap of like where you uh, top out. Uh, you have to get keys from, uh, yeah, these guys to actually increase your, uh, your height throughout the level. Which is a very interesting way to do it. Now, can I cheese this like I did last year by complete accident? Like, now that I know that I can do this, let's see if I can actually do it. So, I managed to do this. Oh, no, didn't hit him. Come on. Uh, doesn't work anymore. How did I manage to do that before? Of course, like, when I try to do it, it doesn't work. 
But if I do it by complete accident, it works flawlessly. Wow, that's perfect timing. I didn't even plan that. Now open up this door, which just has a single gem in it. <laughs> the reason for that is we have now maxed out the height, which means we can go to Nasty's, ha uh, Nasty's home and get the rest of the gems that nothing but purple 25s. And we turn around and, ah, uh, love letters and like motivational posters. Look at all that purple. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, ain't it? There we go, chat. Watcha! And we are done with Spyro the Dragon. Uh oh. Oh Here no. We go again. Well, time to start the game over. <laughs> there we go. Right back where it all started. Look at that, game total, 120%. That totally didn't take 3 hours and uh, 12 minutes. Going by stream time, we are 4 hours 45 minutes. 4 and a half hours, even with, you know, a 15 minute chat to my brother. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me for my birthday. It has been absolutely fantastic. I thank you so so much for joining me today i i love doing this every year it's good to it's good that i can finally show this to the switchaboo crowd too because like this is something that i've done like every year like for my birthday when i mean every year for my birthday i mean it like every stream that i've done on my birthday has been spyro i've been doing this for i is this the sixth or seventh year i've done this now i i've lost count 